Through this book, I've traveled from cover to cover a thousand times. I've talked to cabbages, kings, toads, frogs, and stars. And I've heard some nifty stories, too. Excuse me? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm off. <laughs> Shake hands with my old buddy, the great storyteller Hans Christian Andersen. Ever wonder where he got the ideas for his stories? Not from Jenny the Chair, or Max the Clock, or Hugo the Desk. They're old stay-at-homes. His tales were about faraway lands and people who were enchanted. How could he think of such things? <laughs> who helped him? Twas little old me. Little dee dee. Modest me. I am old dreamy, and I am the prince of dreams. <laughs> but frankly, I don't look like a prince, do I? I'm really a little magician, a special kind. Hippity hoo. Well, each night at midnight I appear. After Mr. Anderson retires. I tippity tiptoe over to his bed. Then I take a deep breath. So, and I blow softly on his neck. His eyes close. I never miss. Then I open this. My magic slumberella over his head, whirl it, twirl it, again and again, eh, like this. And I say the magic words, hippity, hoppity, hoot. And all night he dreams of enchanted lands, kings, and magic mountains. When he's worked too hard, I reverse my magic with hoo, hoppity, Hippity, twirl this slumberella, and he dreams nothing. One night, I outdid myself absolutely. My magic worked like it has never worked before. I opened my dream slumberella and whirled it round and round, and in the great master's dreams, a village appeared. It was a quaint old village dotted with houses and narrow streets. what you're doing. Oh. Be careful. Oh. Oh. I'm fumsy today. Oh. Poor Mr. Highbutton. He must think it's raining. <laughs> Look, Kay, hey, there's a swallow. Oh. Just look at him. See? Bringing his girl beautiful white flowers day after day. Kay, okay. I have a flower for you, too. Okay, please. Can I be your girlfriend? And this one for you. Oh, thank you, Kay. Let's plant them in the flower pot. Great idea. Here, take it. They'll grow up side by side. Like us. And we'll always be friends. Like us, yes. And always be happy together. And always love each other, like us, forever. Forever. Kay! Coming! Gerda! Yes, Grandma! 
Well, goodbye, Gerda. Goodbye for bye now. Bye-bye, Kay. Yes, sirree. I call that a pretty beginning. All through the summer, they played in their garden of dreams. And then came the rains. Followed by ice and snow. On the long, cold winter nights, Kay would come to visit Gerda. Nothing could keep them apart. And when it's cold and frosty outside, it feels so good to be warm and cozy inside. Look, it's snowing again. How gently the snowflakes swarm about. I call them white snow bees. White snow bees? Do they have a queen like other bees? Where do they come from? Would you tell me? The snowflakes come from the very far north. And they fly, fly, fly over stormy seas, through icy winds, blizzards, and fog. They are loyal servants of the Snow Queen. In that palace, lives the Snow Queen herself. Oh, is she real pretty? You can scarcely imagine how beautiful she really is. Cold but beautiful. She is all ice. Glittering, dazzling ice. And yet she is alive. Her eyes shine like stars, but they have no warmth. There are many strange things in the frozen palace. There is a mirror of ice, and when the Snow Queen looks in it, she sees her whole kingdom. She sees endless fields of snow, ice-bound seas. On many wintry nights, she flies through the city streets and peeps in at the windows. Oh, my gosh. Look! There she is! It's the Snow Queen! She's staring at us. There's no one. Don't be afraid. Oh, I'm sure. What do we do? I saw the Snow Queen peeping in. Well, let her come in. I'll put her on the hot stove and she'll melt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait and see. <laughs> A queen puddle. <laughs> Splitters of ice, fly away. Fly throughout the entire universe. Into the wild noise of the wind. Fly into the eyes and hearts of those who have offended me. And to him who gets a grain of ice in his eyes, may everything look ugly. And let him who gets a splinter in his heart become evil and do evil in the world. Fly, splitters of ice. Fly away. Oh. <gasps> Gracious. What a snowstorm. Look at those big flakes whirling about. Kay, there's something moving towards us. Close the window, quick! Yes, quick! Oh! 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 
something flew into my eye, and something struck my heart. Oh, how dreadful. Maybe I can help. Let me see. Go away from me, pest. I can take care of myself. I was only trying to help. Okay. Our flowers, our pretty roses, they're crushed and dying. Goody, throw them in the rubbish heap where they belong. Hey. 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 <laughs> My heart weeps. Excuse, excuse me. That evil Snow Queen, she has cast a spell over our boy. And now he's bad. He's very mean to dear Gerda because his heart is a lump of ice. How awful. going to put me on a hot stove and change me into a puddle. Hear me, boy. No living thing can resist me. Child, you're cold. Come closer. Have no fear. I'm so cold. My heart is frozen. Hmm. No more kisses. Sometimes the kiss of winter may be too much for mortals. 
Fear not, boy. Trust me. The winds will carry us to a wintry wonderland. A land where you will forget everything. Your heart will be turned into ice. You will know neither joy nor sorrow, nothing but peace and cold. Winter had passed, but Kay did not return. In vain, our little Gerda waited. And when the first robin chirped, little Gerda put on her best dress and bright red shoes, kissed her sleeping granny goodbye to start out and look for Kay. Gerda was a brave little girl. gallivant on a river. I was searching for my playmate, Kay. He'll still be lost tomorrow. You must be so tired. Oh, oh, how lovely. Such pretty flowers. Oh, may I ask them a question? Not now, dear. Dear, your eyes are bleeding for sleep. Come along. That's a good girl. Come along. Now, my little flower. No. No, I, I must look for Kay. Lie down. 
sleep, dear sleep. And forget everything. May every day seem like an hour. And every hour like a minute of sleep. Dreams are calling. woman was a sorceress. Not wicked, but a dear, lonely sorceress. And she only did sorcery for her own good amusement. She made the little girl forget all things, even the undying love she had for Kay. So help me. Mr. Corax. Please, Mac. Oh, come, little girl. You are out so late. Aren't you afraid? Hmm? Yes. I'm terribly frightened. Well, because I'm a girl. If you fly over anyone whose name is Kay, would you please tell me? Sure. Is Kay a boy? Good, brave, kind boy. A good, kind, brave boy? Hmm, got a bird's eye view of that lad last oh, month. Where is he now? He is in the palace. Our princess took a fancy to him. My K won't take a fancy to her. He will. This won't let your boy out of her sight. They're palsy walsy. Caw! Caw! <gasps> Get it? Mr. Carrax, please, please take me to him. Since you don't fly, my dear, we'll trot over to the palace. Tell me, has he golden hair? Yes. And 
Bright blue eyes. Yes, yes. Let's run. Wait. Wait. My feet are killing me. Welcome to the palace. Oh, how beautiful. Henrietta, my dear. This is my lady friend. How do you do? She knows everything around here. She is the princess's playmate. Glad you got here when you did. Tonight we're having a ball. Me too? They won't let you in the palace. Why not? You're barefoot. That's why. Is that bad? Oh dear, what'll I do? Come on, Henrietta. Sneaker in. Look, Charles. Don't rush. When everyone's asleep, I'll slip her through the back entrance. Well, thank you.
Jacob, dear. K. Girl meets boy. Ah. Snow Queen. exist at all. Forget them. I must forget them. Forget flowers, beauty, love, joy. Forget. Forget. Do you know what joy is, Kay? No, I don't. And beauty? I'm not sure. Tell me, Kay, what is love? What love is? No. But I do remember. Gerda. Gerda? Yes. You remember Gerda? Yes. <laughs> Child, your heart is cold. 
ice. There is no room for love. None. Well, Gerda, we give you this golden chariot to help you find Kay. And this muff to keep you warm. <laughs>
my pet. Here, kiss it. Kiss it. Poor thing. Shoo. Some more, dear pet. Stupid things. They run away if they weren't locked up. And here is old sweetheart. Dance, buck boy. Come on, dance, boy. Dance. <laughs> dance, boy. <laughs> dance. Please. Don't torture him. I won't hurt them. Quiet. <laughs> well, Blondie, you've just been added to my collection of pets. Ha <laughs> ha. Princess. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not a princess. I'm only Gerda. Someone I love has gone away. I've asked the birds, trees, and flowers, but no one knows where he is. <laughs> You're stupid. Real hopeless. You should meet Kay. My Betty's foolish. Now, tell me about it. Ouch! And start from the very beginning. <laughs> from me forever and forever mm -mm. no no my dear no they won't kill you if anybody's gonna kill you it will be me Baby, 
cry, baby. <laughs> out! Out, all of you! I'm sick of you! All of you, get out! I'm sick of you all! Go! Go! <laughs> and you bore me. You too, smarty. Run! Run! <laughs> Queen stopped here, too. But that was a spell back. She went on northward. To Finland. And Kay was with her? Yeah. Poor lad. He was pro solid. Oh, dear. Poor Kay. Bucky, Bucky, I must go to Finland. Take me there, please. Wait, my cousin can help you. She lives in Finland. out of writing paper. Here, give this codfish to my old Finn cousin. She'll help you. Thank you. Goodbye. La, thank you.
No. No. He's mine. Silence. He belongs to me, not you. Please. Leave us alone. So, Spring came and heard Gerda's plea. Silently, gentle Spring kissed the Queen of Winter and melted her heart of ice away. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's gone! Gone! Another story.